In this video, I want to have a look at finding the volume of composite solids. So we're just going to jump straight into a couple of examples. So our first example here is a cylinder with a hemisphere on both ends. So what we're going to do to find the volume of that is we're going to find the volume of the cylinder. And if we put the two hemispheres together, that would make a whole sphere. So then we can find the volume of the sphere and add it on. Okay, so the volume of a cylinder is going to be pi times the radius squared. Now the radius here, the, we're told that the diameter is 4.6, so the radius would be half of that, so it would be 2.3. So we're going to have pi times 2.3 squared, and then we need to times that by the height of the cylinder, which would be our 15.2. So that's the formula for the volume of the cylinder, and then we need the sphere on the end. So we're going to plus 4 over 3 times pi times the radius cubed, so that's our 2.3 again cubed. Now if we put all of that in our calculator, we haven't been told what to round to, so it's up to you. Just make a decision, but write down what you've done at the end. So if I round off to two decimal places, I'm going to end up with 303.57 centimetres cubed, and I'm just going to write to 2dp at the end there. For our second example, we need to have a look at how this solid was built. So what it is, it was a whole cone, a whole big cone, and then we've cut the top of it off, which means we've cut off a small cone on the top. So we're going to find the volume of the whole big cone, and then we're going to subtract the volume of the smaller cone. So the volume of a cone is going to be a third times pi times the radius squared. So for the big cone, the diameter was 10, which means the radius is 5. So we're going to have times 5 squared times the height. So the radius, sorry, the height of the big cone was all the way from the point down to the bottom. So that's his whole height, so the 6 and the 9 all together, which would make 15. So that would give us the volume if it was a full cone. But we've cut, cut off a small cone at the top, so we're going to subtract a third times pi times the radius of the small cone. So we're told that this diameter along here is 10, so the radius would be 2 squared. And then the height of that small cone is that 6 there. So if we pop all of that in your calculator and round to two decimal places again, we'll end up with 367.57 centimetres cubed to two decimal places. All right, we've got one last shape solid to find the volume of. So this one is a rectangular prism on the bottom, and then we've got a rectangular pyramid on the top. So to find the volume of the rectangular prism on the bottom, we just multiply the three dimensions together. So that would be 8.3 times 15 times 6.2. And then we're going to add on the volume of the pyramid on the top. So that would be a third times the area of the base, which would be the 15 times the 6.2. And then we need to multiply that by the perpendicular height, which is that 7.5 there. So if we round this one off, and I think I'm going to do this one just, oh no, hang on, sorry, this one comes out exact. So it would be 1,004.4 centimetres cubed, exactly. So that's having a look at finding the volume of composite solids.